On February 9, 1969, the world's first jumbo jet rolled out of the Boeing factory in Everett, Washington for its first test flight. The 747 was the largest commercial aircraft ever produced, more than two and a half times larger than any plane that had come before it. A crew of three were selected for the first test flight, Chief Test Pilot Jack Waddell, along with the co-pilot and flight engineer. After fueling up, the massive jet taxied down to the end of the runway where Waddell held the brakes on and throttled up the four JT-9D turbofan engines. The most powerful engines in the world sucked in air at a rate of 19,000 cubic feet per second. With the engines throttled up to takeoff thrust, the flight engineer called out four stable engines. Waddell released the brakes and the massive airplane lunged forward. The engines whined and blasted air with hurricane force intensity as they accelerated the world's first wide-body jet down the runway. Each engine produced more than 40,000 pounds of thrust in an attempt to lift the half a million pound jet into the air. As the plane accelerated, the co-pilot called out the speed second by second. At 150 miles an hour, Waddell felt the nose lift and called for rotation as he pulled back on the yoke and committed to takeoff. The jet passed through 160 miles an hour and the nose pitched further up into the air. Finally, the landing gear unstuck and the tail lifted clear of the runway. Engine power remained stable as Waddell pulled the massive aircraft into its takeoff climb. The heavy jet miraculously transformed from a lumbering giant on the ground to a surprisingly nimble aircraft that just floated up into the sky. Up in the air, Jack Waddell radioed to ground control, the planes flying beautifully. The jumbo that critics said would never fly had lifted itself into the air and would go on to change air travel forever. For the full story, listen to Project Blueprint's episode on The Queen of the Skies, The Boeing 747, available wherever you get your podcasts.